Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this video, I will explain how we can cast or mirror your phone using a Scrappy over the Wi-Fi. For doing this, you simply have to follow the nine step that I'm explaining here. The step number one is download the Scrappy and set the path for Scrappy folder. Scrappy is basically a tool which is known as screen copy that comes from the company called Geni Mobile and this tool is freely available and it is open source and you can use it for Windows, Linux and Mac as well. For getting the Scrappy, just open any web browser and search for the word called Scrappy. Then you will get a first link from github.com. Visit this link and here once you scroll down, you can see here the latest version of Scrappy uh, at the time of recording this video is Scrappy 1.24 and below this you will find information that shows some information and features regarding the Scrappy. And as we are interested in Scrappy with Windows, so I will click on this Windows option. Once you click here, it will start downloading the zip file for Scrappy. Once this zip file is downloaded, make sure you have to unzip this file in a specific folder. So in my case, I have unzipped this inside the folder called My Data. So for setting the path of this folder, we have to simply just go inside this Scrappy folder. Then copy the path of this Scrappy folder. So let's click on Copy here. Now just press your Windows button and type for the path. So as you type with the path, you will get the option with environment variable. So click here and you have to just search for the system environment variable called path. So just type here P, you will get the path. Click on edit button and click on new and you have to simply paste this path here and click on this OK, OK and OK here. So we are done with the first step. Second step is in your phone, we have to enable USB debugging from the developer options. For this, click on this settings icon. And after that, we have to tap on the last option available called say systems here. Once you got the system, you have to tap on the option called about phone. Scroll down at the end and you will see the option called build number. We have to tap on this build number seven times. So once you tap here, it will show you the message. Uh, you are a developer now. So as I'm already a developer, it is showing a message. No need you are a developer. Now just tap on this back button. Then just click on this advanced option. Here you will find a new option appeared in your phone called the developer options. Click on this developer options and scroll down a little bit. You will find option called USB debugging. So make sure that you have to turn on this developer option that is developer mode has to be on and you have to turn on this USB debugging. Now the settings or options that I have shown here may not be the same in your phone because I'm using the Asus phone here and it is basically using the stock Android. So if you're using a different phone uh, with a different company, let's say Samsung, Oppo, Vivo, so there are different steps to enable this USB debugging. So if you don't know those steps, let me know in the comment so that I can send you the links of doing all these things respectively uh, regarding your phone. Step number three is connect your phone and laptop to Wi-Fi. Now here there are two different situations. Listen to this situation properly. Situation number one is your room or your home has a particular Wi-Fi means you are using Wi-Fi from Wi-Fi from particular device. So in this case, what you can do. You can simply connect your laptop and your phone both to this specific Wi-Fi. Okay, that's what what I have done in this example here. I will explain it in my phone. But unfortunately, let's say uh, you don't have uh, any Wi-Fi in your room, and now this is the second situation. Say uh, you have only two devices. One is your phone, and another one is your laptop. So make sure that you have to turn on internet in your phone, and you have to enable hotspot in your phone. Now in this case, you have to directly connect your laptop to your of mobile phones hotspot okay this step will completely work here i have tested all these steps here uh, uh, in fact if you got the problems here let me know in the comments so i'm explaining this step where my laptop and my phone is connected to the external wi-fi uh, of the jiva router which is i'm using in my home now you can see here my laptop is connected to the network called jiva fiber and some name here so and my phone is again connected to the same network step number four is and it is very important here you have to note down the IP address of your phone. Now how to get IP address? Let me explain it in my phone. Now just tap on this settings icon and scroll down a little bit at the end. Then tap on the system option. Here you have to tap on the option called about phone. Scroll down a little bit and here you will find option called IP address. Now if you have connected your phone and laptop both to the same uh, uh, network using some Wi-Fi or some hotspot. Here you, will, you can see the local address which start from 192.168. But if you have connected your phone and laptop uh, using the mobile hotspot itself means you have just have the two devices here. 
means you don't have a central uh, Wi-Fi access here. So in this case, it won't be the local IP address. It will be rather the original IP address that is a dynamic kind of IP address. So the IP address in my case is 192.168.29.248. Step number five is you have to connect your phone to the laptop using the USB cable that we regularly use to charge our phone. Believe me guys, this is not the step to just do the things with a cable. Okay, we are going to connect it over Wi-Fi. Just to enable the ADB, we have to connect the cable. So just take your cable and attach with the laptop through the phone. Now after connecting your phone with the laptop using the USB cable, now it's a step number six to enable ADB over TCP IP. ADB basically stands for Android Debugging Tool. It is actually a tool which is used by Scrappy to connect or to communicate with your phone. For enabling the ADB, we have to open a command prompt and type the command called ADB and here we have to write TCP IP and just write here 555 four times. Uh, this five times uh, four is basically uh, the port number that you are writing here. After this, hit the enter button. It will show you a message called uh, restarting in TCP mode with the port number uh, four times five. Step number seven is unplug your USB cable from the phone and laptop. Now the last but one step is connect your phone over Wi-Fi with ADB connect command. Now inside this command prompt, you simply have to write ADB then connect. And here you have to write the IP address that we have noted down in the step number four. So in my case, it is 192.168.29.248. And here after that, we have to write colon. And then don't forget to write here four times five, which is basically the port number that we have used here. And if you are not going with this four times five, whatever port number that you have used here in the uh, step number six, you have to use it here. So let me hit enter button. And the last step is run the scrappy command in the command prompt. Let's write a scrappy command here and hit the enter button. You can see my phone is now mirrored in my laptop. And this is how I have done using scrappy over Wi-Fi. If you really found this video helpful, then don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.